Welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RC experts here at Horizon Hobby. I'm your host, Brian Brooker. Today we're talking about charging LiPo safety. So in front of me here is just a few of the options Horizon has to offer for charging batteries. So let's get down and talk about each one of them. So in front of me we have the Dynamite Passport Ultra Duo Charger. This charger here has your pretty much your standard style of programming as most chargers out there. So let's walk you through it. So once you're ready to charge your battery, make sure you have the right connector to actually attach your battery and the correct ends to attach the connector to your charger. And again, red to red, black to black. And again, with LiPos, you always wanna have the bounce plugs ready. All right, now you have your LiPo ready to be charged. A few steps you wanna take before charging. For one, make sure you have the right connector and also make sure the polarity is correct. Positive, positive, negative to negative. And also when you have a balancing plug, make sure it's plugged into the balancing board and in the correct location. All right, now we can program the charger. Once you have your battery plugged in correctly, now it's time to set up your charger. A few steps you'll wanna to take to set up your charger before you actually get charging. You wanna make sure it's set for LiPo. For the amperage actually charging the battery, you wanna make sure you charge at 1C. And yes, some batteries will handle a higher amperage, but a safe bet is 1C. So this battery is at 5,000, so we'll charge it at five amps. Next, we'll wanna make sure we have the correct cell count. We're charging at 7.4, which is a two cell. So we have it set for LiPo, five amps, and a two cell. Go ahead and hit start. Most batteries have a safety checker. They make you confirm it twice. There you have it, we're off and charging. Now let's talk about the next generation of battery chargers out there by Spectrum. This is your Smart S2200 G2 battery charger. This does a range of different batteries out there. And one thing that's nice about this charger itself, it does have the IC3 and the IC5 connectors built in. So no more adapters. As we mentioned, this charger here does a number of different batteries, but it does have some key features that we want to talk about. Like we mentioned, it does have the built-in IC3 and IC5 connectors, so all you have to do is plug your battery in. And if it's a smart battery by Spectrum, you just plug in the balance plug, and it will automatically charge once it recognizes the battery, if you have a smart battery. As you see, it's charging, all ready to go. Now let's talk about these smart G2 batteries by Spectrum. They actually have an internal balancing board in the battery themselves. So to charge these batteries, you need to run a G1 charger that has been updated to G2 or the G2 chargers by Spectrum to actually charge these batteries due to the internal balancing board. But one cool feature with these, all you have to do is plug it in, It detects your battery and then it starts charging your battery for you. That easy. Again, with the G2 batteries, you need a G1 charger that has been updated to G2 or a G2 charger itself by Spectrum to charge the smart G2 batteries. Now let's talk about charging a non G2 battery using the Spectrum 2200 G2 charger. You're gonna plug it in the front here. And again, like normal, always plug in your balance lead into the charger and make sure you plug it in correctly. Once you have that, now let's talk about setup. Once you have your battery plugged in and plugged in correctly, it will read out your cell counts that you see here on the screen. And one nice little feature about this, it has two channels channel one and channel two, and we're all plugged into channel two. As you see, the actual line here is going over to channel two. To show you what channel one looks like, there's channel one as there's no batteries plugged in. We'll go to channel two. One neat little feature about this charger, it does kind of walk you through some of the steps. So right here it says menu, press and hold the arrow key. So there we go. And it goes through the different settings here. As you see, task is charge, so we're gonna charge a battery. It does have discharge and other different options you can look into, but right now we're gonna be talking about charging batteries. The battery type, 
As you can see, we're set for LiPo. The cell count, 2S, in the current we're gonna be charging at. Now it's time to charge our battery. We have a 5,000 milliamp battery. We're gonna charge it at 1C. So we're gonna change the current here to five amps. Go up, I'm gonna select it. Gonna go up on the current here to five amps. We're gonna select that. Now we're gonna down arrow to start. There you have it. That's how easy it is to set the smart charger to charge a non-smart battery. Also, never charge your batteries unintended. Always be around as you're charging batteries. Once you're done charging, simply unplug the battery from the charger. As you see, it's done here, and it beeps. Go and unplug it. There you have it, you're ready to go run. Also, it's best if you store your batteries at 40 to 50% capacity when you're not using them. Thanks again for watching from the Tech Desk by your RC experts here at Horizon Hobby. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks and helpful videos.